We've all had the experience of a can of soda unexpectedly exploding when we try and open it. But have you ever wondered why that happens? It might surprise you to learn that these eruptions are volcanic in nature. I've come down to Live Lab to find out how. The molten rock or magma deep beneath the volcano contains dissolved gases, much like the dissolved carbon dioxide within a can of soda. The bubbles that result from these gases are the main driving force behind explosive volcanic eruptions. As the hot magma rises to the surface, the pressure drops causing the formation of crystals. This creates something called a nucleation site, around which the bubbles can begin to form. The bubbles grow, forcing the magma upwards, creating a volcanic eruption. So what happens when you shake up a can like this? Well, all of the bubbles form around nucleation sites along the side of the can. And when you open it up, the pressure is instantly released, forcing out all of the carbonated drink inside. I'm going to shake up this can of Coke, and we'll see what happens when I open it. That should do the trick. Now let's find out what happens when I release the pressure of all of that carbon dioxide, all of those bubbles which have built up along the sides of our can around the nucleation sites. Are you ready? So, the pressure was released all in one go, taking a lot of the drink with it. Let's try that experiment again, except this time round, I'm going to tell you guys the secret behind stopping your can of soda from exploding like a volcano. That should do it. So once again, all of those bubbles of carbon dioxide have built up on the sides, but what's the trick to stopping it from exploding? Well, since all of the bubbles are around the edges here, if you tap along the sides, those bubbles then drift up to the top, meaning that when you open it, all of the pressure is released, but without taking all of the drink inside with it. Now you need to be pretty thorough with this. Okay. Let's see if it explodes. There we go. So, all of the pressure was released as the carbon dioxide came out, but taking none of the soda with it, meaning that the rest of your drink is safe inside, ready for you to drink. And that is why cans of soda are like volcanoes and how you can stop them from erupting. If you've got any burning questions about volcanoes you want the answer to, then you can write to us in the comments below, contact us on Facebook or Twitter, or why not visit us in Live Lab and take part in some volcanic experiments for yourselves. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.